What is going on guys? It is Jamie here from the Wild Foods team where we are obsessed with the ingredients and the stories behind them. It has been a minute since I've done a recipe video for you guys. Oh, here's Matt. Hey everyone. We're excited to be in the Wild Foods coffee shop today to show you guys a really delicious and easy recipe video. It's gonna include our wild plant protein and we're gonna make protein bars. Let's do it. I'm excited. It's our vanilla chai spice pumpkin protein. I'm sure you guys have seen this, but it is our newest release. And we're excited to turn this into a protein bar that you can make at home super easily. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Whole Foods and all the stores and grocery stores are lined to the brim with protein bars. And let me tell you something, they're normally, like 90% of the time, way too expensive. And they're also filled with tons of junk. And you guys can see here, we have all natural ingredients that you can make at home. And it's so much better for you. So what's really great about all of these ingredients that you see here, generally speaking, you probably have them in your pantry. So um, they are really great staples and you just pull a bunch of things together, mix them up and you have a great protein bar. A lot of people don't realize how simple it really is to make your own protein bars. So this is an exciting one that I think you guys are gonna love. Oh, so Matt here, if, do, you guys, do you guys know Matt? Yeah, I think so. I've been, <laughs> Matt I've been is here always behind times. the scenes, but he's been coming onto our content team, which we're really excited about. And he spends most of his time at production, but also the coffee shop. And he does all the stuff that you guys don't typically see. But Matt's going to show you guys the first step, which is putting all of the dry ingredients in together. And then we're going to mix the wet ingredients and then combine. So we didn't really have a large mixing bowl, so we're going to use a pitcher since we are at production in the coffee shop. So. Here's a little nice twist to it. Um, we're gonna start with all the dry ingredients. We have some almond flour, some wild chocolate powder, some wild power plant protein, some wild vanilla, some wild coconut butter, and some monk. Not sure if that coconut butter was dry, but and you're gonna whisk it, but we don't have a whisk here at production, so a fork will do just all right. So in this bowl, we just combined our wet ingredients, which was the macadamia nut milk and the nut butter. And finally, add one tablespoon of MCT into the wet. So what we're going to do now is we are basically going to fold the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, which we have here. And I would suggest using like a baking sheet typically, but we only have a cutting board, so we're going to make do. So what we did was we just mixed everything in a bowl, and now we're going to dump it right onto here, and we're going to shape it into a nice little rectangle, and then we're going to cut it into our uh, little smaller rectangle. All right guys, so basically we have our nice little mold here and we're just gonna cut our own little slices of the actual protein bar. Now we are gonna put them in the fridge and let them chill for about 30 minutes and then give them a go. Awesome. Guys, I have the protein bar out of the fridge and here it is. Wow, it looks so good. Hey guys, here we have it. Our keto protein bar plant-based, by the way. So I did make the bars a little bit big. They are a little heavy, so they might be flimsy. You can cut them into smaller pieces or just make your bars smaller. Let's do a taste test. Cheers. Cheers. I love the consistency. Mm -hmm. mm. It's nice and soft. It really is. Not wow. Super chewy. Mm -hmm. mm. I really like the pumpkin, pumpkin flavor in the. Uh, oh my god. The Guys, I will be sure to link this below. We just made protein bars with this protein powder. They are awesome. Highly recommend. 
Let's go see how everybody likes them. All right, here's one for you. Give me a taste test. Wait one second. Let me get my phone out so I can pull them out. And I'm actually a picky person, too. So let's keep that in mind as well. Very picky person. Yes. Yeah, it's actually really good. What do you think? Homemade plant protein bars, guys. Yes. It has the consistency of a brownie. Really so if you're good, used to brownies right? or if you like brownies and you're kind of like, hey, I want something healthy for me, and gains. this is the way to you go. Like gains? There you go. <laughs> gains, gains. Kate, don't run away. Tell me how this is. It okay. is it. Oh gosh, really it's good. a keto plant protein bar with our really good. power plant. Yeah. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I love the texture. Yeah. Yeah. We hope you guys liked that recipe video on the plant protein bars that came out so great. A lot of the ingredients are actually interchangeable. So we use cashew butter, you can use almond butter, crunchy almond butter will help the consistency be a little tougher. Definitely play with those ingredients. We will link everything below. And as always, thank you for watching and comment if you're gonna try this or if you already have. We're really excited for the plant protein and that's also gonna be linked below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification to be notified when we do put out new videos. Thanks for watching guys. Bye